right uh, one of the steps that we need to do on this particular pattern is that we need to create what they call a box bottom these two corners is where we're going to create the box bottom so that this piece will stand on its own once we have it all sewn we have to pull this apart here at the corners so you've gotten the layers apart and we're creating that corner we need some pins and the best way to do this is to go in at here between the seam and then come to the other side look at the other flip it over pull up the other side and get it between the seam here as well straighten it up that way you know those seams are together once you have it you know you straighten it to where the pin is straight through so you can see the pin is straight through now once it's like that you know that your seams are lined up this seam and that side seam are lined up pull it back out and pin so now we've got that corner ready okay here's the other corner we're gonna need to stick our needle through so that's between the seams we're gonna flip it over you see where it came out we don't want it there we want to move it over till we're in the middle right there it's at an angle so kind of just straighten up till it's more straight once you have the seams lined up that one that back side they're lined up pull the pin out and pin across like this so now we're ready you can see where it went through on that side and there so now we've pinned both corners together um, this is the bottom seam there's the side seams so now we're ready to go ahead and mark both of these lines down here so just start with the first line over here the instructions will tell you how far to measure in I have a little ruler that I use with the, the markings on it and this is your corner where you're sewing right in there the, the thread right there where they meet that's your corner to measure from so if the instructions tell you to measure in an inch you'd put your one inch line there and then you you know the end of your ruler would be where you would mark so follow whatever your instructions tell you if it says a half an inch then you would move to the half an inch and then you would mark uh, the line and so let's go ahead on this one we're gonna do an inch so there's my one inch mark the end of the ruler is here I'm going to take my pen and mark So there I've got my mark here but now I need to have it all the way across the fabric so you need to take your ruler hold it down and mark it all the way across the, the fabric here And there's my line this is gonna be where I stitch when I take it to the sewing machine I'm going to stitch along this line um, the shorter it is the less width that you're gonna have here so the, the further out that you go the wider the bottom will be um, when we do the box bottom so now it's time to to flip this and we've got to mark this other corner so just gonna flip it over and do the same thing on this one we're doing a one inch in so here's my one inch mark at the end of the ruler I'm gonna make a mark here that's my one my line now I gotta go across the whole fabric so I'm gonna line up my ruler and now I'm gonna run a line all the way down and if you need to you can move the ruler and then do it like that so the line there's my one inch line from in from the corner is one inch 
So now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew along these lines. My settings haven't changed. What I use to sew around the patterns is the same settings I'm using to sew this box bottom. So you can see we've marked these lines. We're ready to now put it under here and we're just going to sew along this line that I marked. I'm going to go ahead and pull this pin out because I don't want it getting in the way of my presser foot. I'm going to put my presser foot down. I like to start in a little bit uh, in on the fabric first and then back stitch and then come back forward. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a couple stitches, stop. I'm going to go back to the edge of my fabric, all the way out of the edge of my fabric, then back across. And I'm going to go all the way across this fabric. Just lay the seam off to either one side. I do it like that. I just follow here. So all the way out to the edge, you're going to need to reverse. we got to lock in those stitches, so we're going to reverse. And then we're going to come back out. And then we're going to clip our thread, and we're going to turn and go to the next side. So we've done the first side. We've sewn across that line. It's time to flip it and do this other corner. Again, I'm going to remove my pen so it's not in the way of the presser foot. I'm going to come in. I'm going to bring down my presser foot. I'm going to make my first couple of stitches. Then I'm going to reverse all the way out to the edge of my fabric. Now I'm going to go ahead and follow the line, stitch across the line. Alright, so I'm going to come across that seam, keep going, sew down on that line all the way to the edge. I'm going to reverse because we need to lock in those threads, make it secure. Go right back out to the edge and then clip your thread, lift up your presser foot, pull it out, and there you go. You've got both corners sewn and now we're going to trim with our scissors. You can, it's easier if you just go ahead and clip the threads first and then um, create this box bottom. So what we're going to do is, here's your line that you've sewn. We're going to now trim about a quarter of an inch or, or an eighth, somewhere close like that. And that's our box bottom one corner. You can see there's like a little T or cross or whatever there and that's the one corner. So now we need to flip it and we need to cut this one the same way. I'm going to trim these threads so they don't get in the way. And I'm going to cut this again right across that seam. Get rid of, we don't need that. We're going to throw it away. And once again, there it is. And a little X there at the bottom. So when you open it up, now when you go to stuff it, it will sit because you've created that box bottom. And that's how easy it is. You're ready for the next step. Alright, so here we've created the box bottom. We're ready to now, remember this is inside out, so we need to turn it right side out. And how you do that is on the pattern, it'll kind of tell you where you need to do this. You need to pull your fabric apart, again, one layer. Get a hold of the one layer. So make sure it's pulled apart like that. You don't want to cut into this layer. What I do is I, using my scissors, make a little snip first, just a little one. And then I stick my scissors in there and open it up a little bit more. A little bit on that side. And a little bit on that side. You don't want to cut them too big, um, just enough that you can turn this inside out um, 
Uh, you don't want to cut all the way across, just enough that we can now turn this whole thing inside out. One of the tools I like to use for turning um, on pieces that are bigger like this, if you have a pair of forceps, uh, you can put it into there, grab the bottom, you know, sque you know grab the bottom, I've squeezed the bottom, and kind of bring it here. You're going to have to manipulate the fabric a little bit. And push and pull. Now wool felt will stretch. So this opening is going to stretch a little bit. Um, and that's okay because we're going to sew that up later anyway but try not to get too physical with it you know uh, try not to stretch it too much uh, it's better to if you've got uh, some tools like this to use the tools than to stretch too much um, and then once we have it turned you can use you know the forceps to kind of push out these edges not if the opening's big enough sometimes it's easier just to kind of use your fingers push out all the pieces the corners and the edges and stuff so there we go so now this is my box bottom that I created and we're gonna we're gonna end up putting some stuff at the bottom and stuffing that and getting it ready to to finish our project. Alright, before we get much further on this project I wanted to show you how uh, the box bottom, well, you know what we create the box bottom for. You can see that the here's our bottom that we did and then I put my poly pellets at the bottom and finish stuffing it so now, when we set it up right, it stands on its own. And that is why we create the box bottom, so that something will stand on its own or sit on its own uh, without having to do anything else with it. Uh, and that's all there is to it.